Welcome back to Square Meal. My name is Ray Laser, and I am still very bad at counting. In the last video, we did levels 12 to 21, and in this one, we're going to do 22 to 30, hopefully, and not 31. Uh, we'll find out. Let's go. To celebrate my playings of this lovely square game, I have eight watermelon chunks uh, between videos, and uh, interestingly enough, or not interesting at all, they're in squares. Yay! Or rectangles, because nothing here is actually a square. It was just for the pun, honestly. With this level, it's a little bit dangerous if you're going for points because you have a tendency of a- or a possibility of detonating people. Actually, no, you don't. Hold on. Yeah, no, this isn't hard. You see, the things explode in a 3 by 3 square, so... Nothing should be destroyed, really. I guess the danger comes from the fact that you might lose all your stone blocks, but even that's not a problem because you always have the corner blocks available for you, so with that, I guess let's ignite everything. I see no reason not to. It's not a particularly difficult level because, well, these are mud monsters and they just walk back and forth, so they're very easy to predict. And I guess that's our level done? Wasn't too bad. I guess it might be tedious if you miss. Oh, did I eat the food items down there? I did not! Ah! No, alright. Well, that's one thing I missed out on. A tomato and a piece of bread. Darn. Anyways, with this level, we're introduced to the moving up and down spike blocks. I... It's not really hard to... It's not a hard concept to grasp. You don't touch the block when there are spikes out, and you do when there aren't. Please don't blow me up. Great. No, we'll hit that block with an- Oh, okay. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. That was a disaster. On the bright side, I don't have to explain very poorly how spikes work. And that you get stabbed when there are spikes and you don't when there aren't. Um, I need to keep juggling this block so it doesn't explode in my mouth. There we go. And we'll go after you as well. Oh, oh, oh god. Ooh. Okay, safe. That was a little bit dangerous there. I'm also a little bit curious to see if, uh, if they explode the oil spells, which I doubt they do, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe there's a grease fire that can be started. We'll do some experimenting here. Okay, nothing happens. Good to know. Grease fires, they're dangerous. Also, turtles have a tendency of moving even though they've been stunned. I guess their perception of time being slow means they can also live life in slow-mo? I'm not too sure how that would work. I am doing something stupid with this block. Right, let's try this again. Okay. One would assume that the goop would fall and like goop up the spikes, but... Hey, I guess you're completely solid on the bottom? Maybe he's like a chocolate fountain, you don't really have to worry about it. This level is not too difficult either, it's just combining a bunch of concepts as in don't touch spikes when they are up. Which is when they are spiky, of course. And uh, make sure you're actually walking onto non-spike areas. Because your enormous monster head has a tendency of blocking it. But otherwise, we are pretty much good to go if this guy can go. Come on buddy, you're cutting into traffic. Oh, my traffic. <laughs> Hold up. Alright, we're good. Go here and let's do what we usually do, which is back up before we try to do anything stupid. Uh, this guy will probably need to get restunned, so let's move around first. And with that, we get 24 down pretty easily. Assuming it's 24, I probably really shouldn't say any of that in case I'm wrong. With this level, it's a little bit dangerous because, you know, monsters can cross on spikes. And the tendency is that you have to immediately deal with flying fish and sometimes the blocks are pretty far away from you so you have to react pretty quickly. Okay, or react correctly and smartly and not run into something bad. Whoop, oh, haha, alright, uh oh. Okay, well this guy's coming after me now. Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. Alright, and also... I guess this is to trick you, but some of the spikes don't move up and down, so... Yeah, be careful. Don't touch spikes in general. They're sharp, and I have a tendency of not wanting to step on them, regardless of whether they are activated or not, so... 
we'll just avoid it and stick to the like, guaranteed safe path. Regardless. Go after you, move into the center column or row. I always get those two mixed up. And we'll finish you off. As was the level. Great. To 26 we go, or maybe 27, I don't know. This is one of those levels which I... Actually, no, you can't fail this level because you have a stone block immediately. I guess it's just another one of those regular levels. Of course, if you were silly enough to grab the wood blocks for whatever reason, you'd have to move back and forth after killing everyone, so it's a good idea to just stick with a stone block. And let's go after you. A bit of a dangerous thing here, though, is this jelly thing because you're bouncing it in a very small corridor and I have just completely destroyed my pathway for the moment I forgot that that happens all right cool well that went well I suppose let's uh get rid of this wood block and go get that egg because that thing looks delicious anyone gonna get hit Oh, okay. I'll just go grab a different block right now because I don't want to have something bouncing everywhere the entire time. Yeah, how do you like that? Okay, you do that then. Please don't hurt me, shell thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was a little bit tense. Just a little bit. For my feeble mind. Alright, let's get moving. Once again, not too tough. The good news is because this is a steel block, it stops short path. So you can use it to just jam up the roads up ahead while you take care of the roads in front of you. And also there's a lot of steel blocks everywhere, so it shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Although if you're impatient, these steel blocks might drive you insane with uh, how many you have to move around. We'll just carry one block with us though. So wait for you, smack you, and go snack on that ham. Yeah! Eating stuff is fun. Please don't eat stuff like gravy monsters. They're probably not good for your health. Come on, give me that. Alright, I'm gonna wait for this guy to run back towards me, hopefully. Or you can go into the steel... You... Can you, can you see? That is blocked. Well, you're now trapped on top of me for some reason, and now dead. Yeah. Alright. Dungeons, how do they work? I don't know. Your standard level here as well. Uh, a little bit of an annoyance is that there's so many buffalo things everywhere. So you got to be careful with that. For a second there, I almost got destroyed. And I didn't eat that carrot right away because I wanted to block the buffalo's beauty vision. Another thing that I should mention is that it's probably a bull and not a buffalo. But as a Canadian, Buffalo. So we'll just do that. Alright, you're probably the last guy to deal with, so let's finish you off. And that's pretty good. I'm tempted to just go one level over now, because I've already gone one level over for the last two. Um, may maybe I've already gone one level over, so if I tried this, I would go two levels over. Um... <laughs> Alright, yeah, this level is pretty self-explanatory, although you don't want to start eating everything you see in your path, because uh, there's a lot of buffalo here, and while you're trying to clean out paths, they have a tendency of taking your paths and destroying you with them. So it's always good to take out the buffalo around here first, and using the food to create a new path for yourself, to navigate around to getting another stone block, like so. In my case, this annoyance right here is bopping around my area, which I don't appreciate. In the meantime, I will start eating the tomato, so I don't have to eat that many food items when I'm going next time. Alright, you just hang out there. I'll lengthen your path, and that way I can navigate around and get a stone block. So my goal right now is to take out the buffalo, one of the gravy monsters, and then eat everything before I head off. So you can just stay there, I don't mind what you're doing since I'll work my ways to the stone block down below ever so shortly. In the meantime though, I am killing a lot of time by just eating food here. This must be the food storage area. Although it's a little bit weird that you keep your pies with your bread and your bread and apples with your meat. 
Is that normal? Maybe it's normal in monster etiquette. I'm gonna leave- actually, I'm going to take this guy down here out first. Since he's right around all my food that I want to gobble up. And I don't have to worry about these muck monsters that much, since they only move in straight paths. Uh, whenever they hit a block, so... He can just go do his thing, like run into walls, and I can do my thing, like eat everyone, kill people, and then eat them too. Uh, like so, if I don't miss. There we go. Alright. That is 29 done, hopefully. Hopefully. And I presume this is our lovely level 30. Oh, okay, so this is our final level, I believe. Um, there is a new block here. It's a little bit hidden, but you can still see it. The block right here, you'll notice it has the outline of one of those spike blocks. And indeed, it is. It is a hidden trap block. But the good news is that you can walk over them. At least for a little bit. Before they pop back up. So, with these blocks and any other spike block, you can do one action and only one action on them. And move out of the way immediately before you get smacked. So, I can eat this food item and leave. But if I tried to eat the food item and grab a block before leaving, I would probably be a skewer right now. Or be skewered. It would be pretty cool if I could be a skewer. Then I could skewer things while I'm throwing blocks at them and eating them. But otherwise, no. I missed. Oh god. That was uncalled for. Um, <laughs> alright. Well, but otherwise, we don't have too much to worry about around here. I guess I want that egg, so let's get that first. Uh, one of the problems here is that sometimes you glitch around the spikes or on the monsters, which results you into walking onto the spike blocks anyways. Sometimes the controls just don't work out for you. So, that's always a risk. In my case, I want this guy to go away because I presume there's a food item down there. Yeah, there is. Sir, you're rude. Alright, there we go. And let's finish you off and finish off level 30, which I believe means I can end this video. Quickly check level 31. Alright, we're good. Wait, did I do level 30 though? Alright, we're good. Thank you for watching this episode of Square Meal. If you enjoyed, you can go into the playlist to play more videos. Or check out Nitro, where you can play Square Meal for yourself. And until then, I will... See you in the next video, or something. That's how you do an outro, right? Did I break the fourth wall? Am I not supposed to do this? Did I just ruin the outro? I don't care. This is a staple of my channel from now on. Ruining outros. I'll see you then.